clean up. Are you ready? Look at that. Look at that big ankle and that butt. Alright, on today's adventure we're going in search of new ground. We pretty much worn that old ground out, although it's probably still some stuff in there, but um, I'm going exploring today by myself, so I won't be diving deep. Might go in the shoreline or something, you know, where it's only six foot, but I won't be going real deep. But we'll, uh, we're going to go around maybe some old forts and uh, some battleground areas and uh, just see what we can find today. Hopefully we hit a honey hole. You never know. There's lots of honey holes out there. We just got to find them. Stay tuned. We're heading out right now. Alright, I hate to admit this, I just run 30 minutes, got to my spot, forgot my detectors in the car. Oh my god. Now I gotta run 30 minutes back and 30 minutes back again. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Man, I can't believe I forgot them. I took them out of the car because I was gonna go get something to eat, don't like them leaving the boat when I'm gonna eat because I might just run up the steel. Oh man! I think we do sometimes. Alright, we're heading back right now. Here we go. All right, an hour later, we're back, and we got our detectors this time. Um, I did have another little fiasco. I lost my little holder to my uh, air intake for my compressor, and uh, I went ahead and put a PVC pipe in my own. I actually stay strapped to that this time. It needed to be redone anyway, so I'm looking at it as a positive thing. And Because uh, one time, it actually popped out and sucked water in, and we were up here when it happened. So I'm going to fix it so that will never happen again. All right, well, let's get our gear on and get in the water. Here we go. All right, up from dive one, I don't have a lot to show for it. Check it out. Bottle caps, fishing reels. I got a um, gray matter, some other junk. Nothing that looks old to me. But I have dug a lot of bullets here, buttons, a shoulder epaulette, everything right here. But I thought maybe when I got out just a few more feet of water, it would be a, very productive. But so far, it's not turned out the way I think. Uh, it's, it's kind of filled in in here and covered it up. I got one more spot here close by my head up um, That I did dig some bullets at right here right across the creek right here So let's try that spot next dive number two coming up Dive two was much more successful First check it out. I've got a big object here. That's I got a bust open right there But I got one thing in my pouch that made my day. I mean, really shallow water. I was able to actually come up and look at it, and it's cool. Wait till you see it. First, I got another iron object in here too, right here that we got to bust open. I can't believe it if we if we run across another whole uh, area that we can possibly get some. Uh, let me get my air hose up here. Some uh, shell frags and stuff from all oh, shells. But the main. Let me see if I can get the main one for you right now. Oh my God! You won't believe it. It's awesome. All right, there's some more iron right there. Let me clean out my pouch a little bit here so I can get down to the good stuff. Oh, man. Another piece of iron. I'm not sure what that is either. But I did get a couple other things in here, too, that are kind of cool. Um, let's see if I can find a couple of them here. Not yet. Not yet. That's just some fishing stuff and all there. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Here's another piece of lid. Check this out. And it's got an indication on the back, like a circle, like it actually went on something. But I feel it's probably lid. I'm not sure about that one. But it's coming. Stay tuned. It's coming. My main find of the day is coming. Well, I'm finding. I have found some colonial stuff in this area too. I dug bullets in this little spot, colonial stuff before, and Civil War stuff. So. But here, I got it in my hand right now. Y'all ready to see this? This is awesome. Let's check it out right now. Clean up. Are you ready? Look at that. Look at that big ankle and that butt. Oh my God, that's beautiful right there. I love that right there. I have no clue what it goes to, but I know it's something good. I know it is. Y'all be telling me at the end of the video. Probably. I'll try to find out before the end, but... That made my day right there, I'm sure, right there. Oh my God, that's that's a beautiful button with that. I love any kind of military. It's gotta be military. But there's some more in here, probably. And I actually got a couple more buttons. I don't know what they are. I could tell they was right on the back of them, but there was nothing on the front of them. So let's check them out. Let me get, see if I can 
clean them up, clean out what's in my hand a little bit. Oh, I did find a couple more things too that's kind of cool. Let me throw this down. I don't think that's anything. That piece of copper, but I found another little decorated piece of copper in here, which looked really cool. Let's see if I can, yeah, here it is. Check that out. I don't know what that would go to, but that's pretty cool right there too, man. I love that too. But we got a few more things. I think we might end up staying here the rest of the day because of, uh, I'm getting some stuff here. It's shallow, shallow water, so we'll be able to uh, stay here all day, no problem. All right, here they are right here. Check them out. Let me get them up here where we can see them here. The definitely buttons, and they definitely got writing on the back of them. I can't read it right now, but uh, we'll check that out when we get home. I think it's a button, and I'm pretty sure it is. And I think this is one, too, and it might have something on it, too. We'll have to clean that up when we get back. Man, oh, man. I feel a little better about the day now. Woo! I love it. I'm going to go ahead and bust these open right now and see what's in them. So I got to do it with two hands, so stay tuned. I'll let you know as soon as I get up. Here we go. I don't know what they are, but I literally could not get it broke open. You see me use that little thing the other day. It broke those things right open. I hit it hard, and I could not get it to break open. So we're going to have to wait on those. Let's go ahead and see if we find some more buttons. Awesome. Or maybe some bullets. I've dug bullets in here before, so I know they're in here. All right, here we go. I think I discovered the uh, button patch. I got four buttons that time. No more with the ankle on it, but I got some cool buttons. Let's check them out. I got four buttons here. Pretty cool. Look at this one. This one's actually got some kind of little checkerboard design on it, which is kind of cool. I think these are colonial buttons for sure. Uh, this area right here, you know, a lot of times the Civil War would take over colonial sites and all. So that's what I'm thinking right here. We'll have to clean them up a little bit when we get home and check them out. I think uh, there was some kind of um, clock down there because I keep getting little pieces of wheels and the facing right there. Uh, some other iron a bunch of iron I try to bust another piece of it up It just won't bust up so I'm thinking it's just chunks of iron from like a pier or what's left over Another piece of metal boy Trying to find stuff like that underwater where you can't see anything is tough because it floats around so quick Buttons sometimes stay a little bit more because they're a little bit heavier But oh and we got one more but one bullet on Civil War three ring bullet Looks like it's fire looks like the end right there is crushed there, but Best I can tell is three ring right there. This is a confederate area, so you would think it would be um, two ringer, maybe a gardener, but it's a three ringer. I dug other bullets in here before. That's why I knew there would probably be some in here. But I thought I'd be getting a lot more than what I'm getting, really. Um, but I'm not. I'm happy. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. But uh, as soon as you get out, maybe 20 feet out in the water there, it kind of starts to get a little bit, um, set, not sanded and mudded in, really. So uh, we're going to hit it back again. I think what I'm going to try to do is take you all under this time. You can see a little better here than you can at the last spot. So I'm going to try to show you a couple digs underwater. So stay tuned. I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Stay tuned. All right, I'm actually working pretty shallow water here. So we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to try to use my Equinox here. I think I just had 16, 17 right there. That could easily be a bullet or a button right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it there where I can get down here to it. I can feel the end of it and get to my <coughs> pinpoint right here. Actually, I didn't tie my pinpoint back. I'm going to go back and do that, but I'll right, just try it right now. I said we'll be right in this area right here. Should be right here. Yeah, I'm getting a hit right here. Let's see if I can get it up here. I'm trying to just do it without having to get a scoop and try to dig it. I think I can pretty much find everything by, okay, it's in my hand. Oh, it just dropped down my hand. Here it is. All right, it's a bullet! Awesome! Look at that. Nice, we just dug a bullet right here in this area. Unbelievable, man, I love it. All right, let's keep trying the Equinox out. Actually, I didn't tie my, this to my belt here. Now, you could lose these things. Subies, I've done it before. So I gotta go back to the boat real quick and, and zip tie that down or something. All right, stay tuned, we're coming back. All right, we got 11, 12. Not going to be a bullet for sure. Okay, I'm going to have to put my foot back here behind it. I know it's right in front of my foot, so that way I can just move it out of the way. Bring my pin pointer. I know it's right in front of my foot right now. That's a 12. That could be a button. All right, here it is right here. Could be a shotgun shell too, I bet. 
Well, there it is right there, I think. That's it right there, whatever it is. Alright, I'm not sure what that is. Not sure. We'll back and look at it later. Alright, let's keep hunting. Alright, I got a little deeper where I gotta take the camera on the water when I get a hit now. But look at this. 16, 17. I like that one. That's probably gonna be a button right there. What I've been doing though is leaving my detector in the water, putting my foot to hold it still, and taking the pin pointer down and putting it right in front of where it's first hitting it at. So I'm going down right now. Hold your breath. Here we go. Alright, I finally got out. It looks like it could be a button. Check it out. Let's flash it off here. Oh yeah. Nice old button here. Nice, I like it. Cool. Alright, let's go for another one. Here we go. I, I got that signal down pat now, man. We know what the buttons are going to be when they come in. Alright, let's clean the lens off, too. Alright, here we go. Well, it looks like we had to call that a day. Definitely got a lot more buttons. I'm not sure how many I was putting them up in my bag like crazy. I hit the button pack for sure. I think they're old clothing buttons, but I'll let y'all make that decision. Help me out. But it definitely, the clouds are building up a little bit too. Check them out. I don't like some of that right there. Look at that. I don't know. It might be okay, but I'm going to head on in because it's got some definite clouds uh, building up around me. And uh, we don't want to get uh, get caught up in a thunderstorm and high winds and all this. Let's head on back and then check everything out we got. So stay tuned. Here we go. Man, we hit the button patch today. 16 buttons. And they're really old buttons. Let's check them out real quick. Before I go into all my clean, you know, everything we found here, I want to show you something here. If you notice, some of these buttons have this like black crust on them, and it just kind of, look at it popping off. It just pop, see it popping off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean them all up. There's some black on that. This one here I think has got some black all over it. I think that could be pewter right there. But anyway, let me clean them up real quick. Before we do a final closeout, I just want to show it to you before I clean them. And uh, then we'll check it out. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll clean them up and be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I got the buttons cleaned up and I found something really cool on one of them. Stay tuned. I'll show it to you in a second. Let's look at everything else first. All right, down in the, in the bottom, we got some other stuff like this. I threw some of them out. I didn't save them. This is what I hate to see right here. Fishing line. That's some tough stuff there, too. That's an old one right there. But we got it out of the water. That's good. Some old iron. Y'all saw me pulling that one big iron piece I thought could be a, a case or something. But I think it's just steel. It's, uh, you can see the steel in it right there. But uh, it did not have the curvature like a ball in it. So I think it's just some junk steel from the old days. Some other steel. A little bit of gray matter. Uh, check this circle hook up. Now, that thing, you'd hate to get that sucker in I know that. Somebody's fishing for a big fish here. I know that. Uh, a couple little bullets. Uh... Square spike, square copper nail. That's pretty cool. And another one right there. Um, there's a couple pieces of pottery I found in there before. I think it's some pretty old stuff. There might be some more of that in there. Might have to do some sifting maybe just to see what's in there. Uh, this apparently is from a clock. I dug four pieces to it right there. The gears and the two face plates there. But uh, oh here, two bullets. Now, I think that's a three ringer. That one I'm not sure. It was really strange looking, so I'm not sure what that one is because it looks like it's filled in. It's concave, but I couldn't get anything out of it, and I don't really see the rings. Anybody have any clue on that? Let me know. But I don't know. I'm not sure about that. One. I'm sure it's Civil War though. Uh, before we get to the buttons, I'll show you the rest of this. Not sure what that is right there. I, I thought it was lead, but it's not. it's not. So I'm not sure what that is. Could be pewter. I don't know. I think these are parts of shoe buckles. Uh, you can see that one right there on the edge right there. You can see where the little, little thing used to go through right there. I don't know if it'll focus in. But I think that's probably part of a shoe buckle. And some all this stuff probably. But anyway, uh, not sure about all that. But the main thing today was buttons. Look at that. That's amazing. Uh, these over here, you could see little pieces like on the back where it was written in there. But I couldn't make it out. All these were kind of... Uh, shaky I couldn't really do a whole lot for, to them you know to make them readable but I do have these and I think these are the coolest buttons I got uh, this one uh, let's see this was I can't remember if I could 
thought I could see a little bit on, on that one right there, some design. You can see it on there right there, I think. I'll try to get a picture up on the screen of it. But it's definitely got some design on it right there. And that's kind of cool. It's got cross hatches, like, that's kind of cool. Uh, this one cleaned up really nice. This had a nice, a big, thick black coat on it. Uh, almost like silver does. Uh, like a cookie coin did. And I haven't cleaned it at all. I just popped it off, washed it off, and it cleaned up like new. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, that's kind of cool. Uh, as you can see the whole tab on it right there. It just smashed down, but the whole tab is actually on it. Uh, this one, I believe, is pewter. Uh, you can see it. Uh, you can see the little seam on the side. It's got the same, got the pewter feel to it and the look to it. So I'm pretty sure that's probably pewter. Oh, 16 or 1700s, I guess. I'm going to need y'all's help uh, on all this stuff because I'm not great on trying to date everything. So if y'all see something here, please comment below if y'all know what it is or any kind of date range. Because I'm trying to date this this little site out right here. I think it's I think it's pretty early. Especially, I think, wait, wait till you see some more of this stuff here. Alright, this is cool right here. And I'm going to show, look at that. It's an uh, eagle on back. And I'll show a little quick video right there of it. But. It's got, um, yeah, I'll put it up here so you can see it, but it's got an uh, eagle, and then it's got some stars, and it looks like, like, B-R blank T, B-R-I-T or something. I can't make it out, but if any of y'all can, uh, make it out, uh, or know what that button is from, let me know. I need to know. Uh, this one, it looked like it had a design on it. I got the whole table back of that one, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really make it out. I think it used to have something on it. But this probably is my most favorite button of the day. Look at that. And I'll show some video of that one right there, a close-up, showing the details. Because uh, I talked to my friend Dan. He said it could be War of 1812, but it's a lot of similarities to some other ones. So uh, I'm, I'm going to put it up there on screen so you can look at the detail of it. And maybe somebody can help me identify that. I didn't really see a whole lot on back. Got the whole tab on it, though. That's kind of cool. That's pretty awesome right there, man. I love it. Oh man, that's cool. I love that button right there. That is sweet. I think that's me a nice one right there. But anyway, uh, yeah, we did a little exploring today. Uh, hit a couple sites. Some of these places I've been to in the past, um, and I knew there was some stuff there, but I could never get deep enough to try it. But most of that stuff right there was actually in shallow water. Shallow water where I could, you know, stand up in. And some of that you saw me, I got it with the uh, Equinox in the shallow water. So. And so, but it, I tried to go out a little further and it, start, it starts to get kind of muddy out there. So, I don't know if I can go out deeper to get more stuff or not. I'm still going to go back there and try again, though, for sure. I'll definitely hit that spot again. Because um, I, I know I didn't get it all by myself, so I know I didn't cover everything. But it's got to be some more buttons in there. Those buttons were reading, like, really low, like 12. Most of the small buttons were like 12, you know, 11, 12. Uh, the big ones, they go up at 17, 18, but the small ones were reading really low. But I was digging everything in there, man, because I think it's colonial. I think it's early colonial. But anyway, hopefully y'all will comment below and let me know what y'all think or not, because um, I'm not sure how to date that site. You know Civil War was there because it was a, a battery right across from it. So I know Civil War was all over there. Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along on this awesome adventure. And uh, hopefully we'll hit that spot again and see what we can get. Don't forget to click like, comment below, click the bell when you're... Uh, Subscribe, because when you subscribe, you click the bell, you will get notifications when I send something out. And share. I right, appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Stay tuned for the next one coming up soon.